Have you ever been scrolling through pictures of houses on Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com and wondered, wow, how did they get their house to look so good? Well, I can almost guarantee you the answer is staging. So what's staging? That's a big hot topic in real estate. If you've been around real estate for any longer than a week, you know how important it is because staging not only helps homes to sell for more money, it helps them sell faster, and it often creates the type of bidding wars that every seller wants. So what does staging exactly mean? You know, when I talk to most home sellers, a lot of times in their minds, they think staging means getting rid of all my stuff and bringing in a truckload of furniture and decorations that cost me thousands of dollars. Now that's certainly an option for a vacant home typically. It doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars, but really for most home sales, we need far less staging than that. And so today I'm gonna to give you seven staging tips for under $100 each. They're gonna help your home sell faster and for, for more money. Let's get right into it. Number one, this is the easiest of them all. Well, maybe not the easiest, but definitely the cheapest, and that is declutter. We live our lives with homes filled with memories, trophies from when our kids played t-ball, pictures of vacations we went on, and all of our favorite kitchen gadgets, and all of our favorite things in the bathroom, and so we like to have them all at easy access, be able to reach out and grab. But when we're selling our home, we don't want all that stuff on the counters, on the walls, on the floor. So the way to think about decluttering is picture in your mind a hotel room. What does a hotel room look like? There's nothing in a hotel room that is beyond absolute bare bones necessity and maybe a little bit of decor. So go through the house, get rid of anything too personal, get rid of anything that doesn't have to be out on the counter. And as a matter of fact, even if it's something that you use every day, but doesn't look the way that it should in a photo, and this is where a great real estate agent and a great staging team will be able to help you. Get those items off the counter, shove them under the cabinets, shove them into the closet. It's absolutely free, it might take you some time, but it will make you thousands of dollars, no doubt. All right, staging tip number two, and that is white linens. Every buyer wants to imagine a fresh, clean home that they're walking into, and again, Think about a hotel room. When you walk into a hotel room, they all pretty much have the signature white clean bed sheets and white towels in the bathroom. It just speaks to that part of the brain that says this home is clean, it's been well taken care of. So my advice is go to your cheap home goods store, whether it be Home Goods, Walmart, Target, look for specials wherever you need to, but you can easily find white hand towels, white bath towels, white sheets and linens for under $100 and I promise it will make your home stand out. Okay, number three is greenery. Now I'm talking about indoor greenery. Everybody loves the fresh feeling that plants, greenery give, it brings life, it speaks vibrance, and it really helps a buyer feel at home. Now, if you have a green thumb, go ahead and use real plants, but if not, again, you can go to your local home goods store and get fake plants for a really inexpensive price, place them in strategic places throughout the home, and they are gonna brighten it up and absolutely add value to the home, help it sell faster and for more. All right, number four, and that has to do with greenery as well, but now we're talking outside. Now landscaping, that can be a pretty expensive thing to improve. I mean, anybody who's put mulch in recently knows that it is not cheap, especially if you hire somebody else to do it. So I'm not necessarily recommending you go with a full-blown landscaping redo, but there are some things that you can do for very inexpensive to freshen up that curb appeal so that buyers feel like the home is well-maintained. Number one is just weeding. Just get down on the hands and knees, use the sprayer, whatever you need to do, get those weeds out. It's gonna clean up the yard, make it look so much better. And then the real basics and that is you know mowing and planting plant some extra flowers if you can again if you have a green thumb have somebody help you if you're not much of a planter but keeping that grass mowed keeping the flower beds filled and keeping the weeds out is going to make that home sell for more every time all right the next super simple and inexpensive staging tip is some simple artwork now, this can be from a variety of different places and it can really be a variety of different types, but I think the easiest thing is just some very simple white or black or sort of natural wood frames. Again, you can go down to Ikea or any simple home goods or even Walmart, anything like that. Just find some on sale. I would suggest buying somewhere between four and eight of the exact same style if you can find them and then group them together. And the easiest thing is put in pictures of natural landscapes or even some black and whites. Again, try to stay away from something too personal, but 
put them in a group, you know, of maybe four frames together in like a dining room or in a hallway, in a family room, it's an easy way to bring some consistency and simplicity rather than having very taste specific or personal pieces of art all around the house. Okay, moving on to our next tip, and that is lighting. So lighting can be an expensive thing, but it doesn't have to be. So we're gonna talk about a few very easy, inexpensive changes you can make to the lighting around your house to drastically improve it. And the first thing I'm gonna say before we get into light fixtures is let's talk about light bulbs. Light bulbs are something that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine, and I think most sellers don't quite understand until they look at photos and then they get that big aha moment. The key is with lighting, consistency, and soft. There are all kinds of light bulbs out there, right? There's the very sort of bright white, almost blue, almost fluorescent looking bulbs. And then there's kind of the very yellow ones that we remember from our childhood. And then there's different shades in between. So I recommend that in main areas of the home, like the family room, the kitchen, that you have bright, white light bulbs and I would recommend a temperature of right around 3000 to maybe 3300 Kelvin. That's the temperature. That's how we determine how soft or how bright the light is. You don't want to go all the way up to like four or 5,000, that's when you start getting into really sort of blue daylight type bulbs, which don't look natural indoors. So stay in that three to 3,500, maybe pushing up to 3,700 range for the main rooms. We're talking bedrooms, we're talking a dining room chandelier. You can go more in that soft 2,700 to 3,000 Kelvin range. That's gonna be the old school light bulb that we're kind of used to. And I would recommend buying LED bulbs, the easiest way to do it, and that's how you can really tune in on that consistency. The the biggest thing too when it comes to consistency is if you have a fixture that has multiple bulbs, those bulbs all have to be the same color, the same temperature, and they all have to work. So we don't want to take beautiful, expensive real estate photos and videos of a light fixture that has bulbs that are burnt out, or one bulb is daylight white and one bulb is soft white. Let's get them consistent so they look great on film. Okay, so now that I've gotten that pet peeve out of the way, let's talk about light fixtures. A really easy way to dress up your home and make it come alive in a very modern way is through light fixtures. And they don't have to be super expensive. Now, if you're gonna go buy a brand new chandelier for the front hallway that's drooping down, you know, eight feet or something, that might cost you more than $100. But for the most part, you can find great dining room light fixtures, kitchen, family room, all kinds of light fixtures that are modern and simple for right around or even under $100. Amazon, in this case, is absolutely your best friend. Also, floor lamps and table lamps are a great way to do the same thing. Bring your home into the modern and be consistent. So, you know, if you have a room that has maybe a few different types of lamps, again, go to Walmart, go to Ikea, get a very simple table lamp that you can put on two or three tables in that same room to bring consistency and help it be modern. All right, you've almost made it. We're almost at our number seven tip for staging your home for under $100. And so before I do that, let me just say, if you've watched this video so far and you found any value in it, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share it with a friend. But if you have questions about what you've heard or maybe I just didn't answer the question you were looking for, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to talk to you about any of these topics. I love helping people get their home ready to sell and I'd be happy to do it for you. All right, moving on to number seven, and this is a big one. Furniture. Now I know I said at the beginning of this video, you know, staging doesn't have to mean bringing in a truckload of furniture to your house. And I'm still gonna maintain that. More than likely, we can work with the furniture that you have in your home already. As long as it's not in tattered, terrible condition, and even if it is, we might be able to put some slip covers on it. But here's the thing, the biggest and most important thing you can do for staging your home is rearranging your furniture. You see, a lot of times we just live the way we like to live and it, it, it's comfortable for us and it works for our family. But it might not be showing off your home in the best possible light. You see, a lot of times we can shift things around in a room and completely change the way that room feels, how big it looks, and how it's gonna feel for a buyer when they step in. So again, a lot of times it's just maybe shifting things around to a different part. And a lot of times it's a part of that decluttering process where we might say, hey, this room is great, but that piece right there could be better used in another room. Or maybe that piece just doesn't fit. Maybe it crowds the room too much. And we're gonna store it in the garage. We're gonna store it in the basement. We're gonna store it in a storage unit for now. Hey, listen, there's so much that can be done for under $100 to get your home ready to sell. It's gonna get a great return on your investment. If you have any questions, like I said, reach out. I'm happy to talk.